Ayrshire cattle are a breed of dairy cattle from Ayrshire in southwest Scotland. During their development, they were first referred to as the Dunlop, then the Cunningham, and finally the Ayrshire. How the different strains of cattle were crossed to form the breed is not exactly known. There is substantial evidence that several breeds were crossed with native cattle to improve them around 1750, which led to the creation of the foundation animals. Early breeders carefully crossed and selected the various strains of cattle to develop the cow we now know as the Ayrshire. They were well adapted to the land and climate of air, were efficient grazers, and became known for the superior shape and quality of their udders. Ayrshires were recognized as a distinct breed by the Highland and Agricultural Society in 1814. Ayrshires are red and white in color, the red color being a reddish-brown mahogany that can vary from very light to very dark. On some Ayrshire bulls, the mahogany color is so dark that it appears almost black. They are horned cattle, but the horns are generally removed as calves. Ayrshires are a medium-sized breed. On average, mature bulls can weigh from 1,400 to 1,900 pounds, and mature cows can weigh from 1,000 to 1,300 pounds. The average Ayrshire cow produces over 12,000 pounds of milk per lactation with 3.9% butter fat and 3.46% protein. Under intensive management, Ayrshires can produce as much as 20,000 pounds of milk per lactation. Ayrshires are a hardy breed, as you might expect from Scottish cattle. Few other dairy breeds can match the ability of the Ayrshire to forage for themselves under less than ideal grazing or weather conditions. They have strong feet and legs and are at home on hilly, marginal land. Calves are vigorous at birth. They remain strong and are easily raised. The average lifespan of an Ayrshire cow is 10 years. Ayrshire cattle were imported to New England in the United States in 1822, and the American Ayrshire Breed Association was founded in 1875. Today, Ayrshires can be found all over the world both under commercial management and in smaller grass-based dairies. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever a new video is posted.